You're also still at the phase where you're going to make weird faces with the camera, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's just my face, though. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Brittany from Green Bee Flowers. We're out here tonight doing a harvest. I thought I would just take you along for that. It's gonna be a super relaxed video. We're gonna be harvesting at both farms uh, during golden hour, because golden hour is the best time to harvest because the flowers look so vibrant. We finally got rain here, so everything is also looking much, much happier. Snapdragons are so perky. So we're gonna take you along because there's lots of flowers to harvest today. Do you hate the vines, Jen? The vines are the worst. Yeah, we need to weed.
so behind me here uh, is a row of straw flowers. Now I weeded those out actually a couple days ago. Then we got finally a really nice rain, which I told you about. And they are looking so healthy finally. This whole patch of straw flower is looking awesome. And I'm really excited because we've already pulled one cut from the like first succession of straw flowers. So they're actually starting to put up their, uh, their second flush already, which is exciting. Uh, so I might actually get three flushes out of my straw flowers this year. You can see, like, I've got some really beautiful colors. This kind of blush pink one here, this is called Silvery Rose. And I think it's one of my favorite. It's in a pack, actually, I think from William Dam. But this whole patch of straw flowers is looking so much better. So much better. set that up so that I could harvest one. This is Dara chocolate lace flower. I really like this one. And it looks really, really good in bouquets. Okay, so it is, it's a couple days later. Um, we got rained out again, which is awesome. But one of the things I wanted to talk about, and it was like nine o'clock by the time we were done, and I didn't get a chance to do that, but you can see in my video, right? I'm wearing the, uh, the pouch, the garden belt, if you will. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys, kind of give you a rundown of that because that is actually available for sale in our online store. They are made by myself and my husband. Uh, I mentioned in the live video that we do enjoy doing some leather work. And so these actually we do uh, make to order. They are available in our shop. So I'm going to show you some of the cool things and some of the features uh, that we have on those and why I really like them compared to, you know, like a fabric one. So mine is obviously very well loved. It's scratched up here from, from my shears. Uh, but basically we kind of created these, basically what we did was we created this one here. So this front section, 
fits a pair of pruners or snips really, really nicely. And then on the interior, see my snips. Um, on the interior, oh look, a mask, cause you know, we'll always have those around. I've got a spot here for like my planting knife, a spot for a pen, and then this nice big pouch, which I love. Um, I can fit my cell phone in here, notepads, everything else. And then they are done with really, really beautiful bronze hardware and copper rivets. So they're extremely stable and actually hand stitched all the way down. Um, so these are through Z and B Co, right? That was our honey and kind of like leather business. We actually finished these all with beeswax, so they look really great long term. And we will cut the straps. So I've got a bunch of different strap size options so that you can get a strap to fit. Oh, get that out of there. You can get a strap actually to fit your waist, which is really awesome. So I love these. They work really well for the garden. And just a plug here, if you are looking for a gift um, and you want to support us with something that isn't just like flowers and also you want to treat yourself, uh, we do these. And this is a really nice industrial grade leather. It's about four to five ounce leather. Uh, we also have a spot to hang keys. And then, I mean, McKenna uses this for her, um, her headphone bag, but originally these are for elastic bands. So when you're out harvesting in the field, if you are selling for wholesale purposes, then you can actually just clip your elastic bands in. Easy, good to go. So that was my plug. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, of course, give it um, a like. If you want to continue to follow our flower journey, please subscribe to the channel. If you would like to see content that is, you know, how-to arrangements and really in-depth uh, how to grow things, please consider becoming a member to the channel. That would help us out a lot. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.